That is the cause of your acne. I said it. Mm -hmm. I said it. That's the cause of your acne. Extra is for fashion shows, okay, sis? Not for your skin. Listen to me. Come closer. Very, very important. You wouldn't give up on a relationship after two weeks. You gotta give it time. Give it time, sis. I don't wanna see no lemon cut up in half. I don't wanna see nothing. No, we're not doing that anymore. Hello guys, welcome to another video. I have missed you guys. I mean, it's only been a few days. I still missed you, okay, hugs. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. My name is April. If this is your first time here, I'm a cosmetic and skincare chemist and I talk about all things skincare, back and front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, smash that like button for me. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I know you're here because you like skincare. Hello. I'm so dramatic. As you guys can tell from the title, today's video will be about the nine things you should not be doing to your face, the things that are making your acne worse, the things that I just need to just conk your head if you're doing. <laughs> So my mom would say just conk you <laughs> no but in all seriousness these nine things are things that may be overlooked by a lot of you guys as just things that you do out of habit but these things are very very important listen to me come closer very very important if you really want that skin to be popping if you want glowing skin like the skin of a baby these are the things that you really please do these things and i promise you you will thank me later Okay, let's get into the video. Number one thing I want to talk about is essential oils. And I know you guys love your essential oils, but I want you to put it down for a little bit when it comes to your skin. Essential oils are not made for the skin. Essential oils are great for aromatherapy when you go to the spa. You know, you want to feel zen, you want to feel all those feels when you go into a spa. But please, sis, keep it away from your skin. Essential oils can be very volatile. They contain a lot of compounds. They're extracts, right, from plants and stuff. So they have very high irritability properties a lot of chemists actually prefer not to use essential oils in products except the client asks us to you know use it in the product we wouldn't go out of our way to add essential oils or formula just because they're too complicated and a lot of people are sensitive to them it's just not good for us okay let's just move on <laughs> All right, number two thing we should be staying away from is, you guessed it, DIY. I don't care what TikTok video you watched. I don't care what Instagram reel you watched. We ain't doing that in 2021. We're not doing DIY. I don't wanna see no lemon cut up in half. I don't wanna see nothing. I don't wanna see no baking soda mixed with honey, sugar. No, we're not doing that anymore because you're insulting us. You're insulting chemists, you're insulting dermatologists that spent years in school studying these ingredients. And now you're telling us that you know it better than we do. What, what is that? <laughs> in all seriousness, please stop doing DIYs. They will hurt you more than they will help you. Yes, sometimes you may see results, you just might get lucky, but a lot of the times there are a lot of compounds in those lemon pills, orange pills, or whatever you're using. Granted, some things are less harmful than the others, but a lot of the times there's chemicals and compounds that you have no idea how they can affect your skin. So it's just better to stay away from DIY products because I've seen a lot of bad things happen to people from doing DIYs. Some things could be irreversible. You can really permanently damage your skin. So please if there's one thing you take away from this video no more diys all right number three. Third thing we're gonna stop doing to our faces picking on our skin okay no more touching i mean corona has made it easier to stop touching faces but please stop touching your faces stop tweaking stop popping your pimples just leave the face alone and this one i'm guilty of because when i see that little white head i'm like oh let me get it let me get it real quick i can relate all the things i'm talking about today it doesn't mean i don't see you do some of them i don't diy though but everything else i could be guilty of you know we're all humans you know it's human nature to want to poke and touch and no just leave it alone apply your topicals apply your medications apply what you need to apply to make the skin better but please do not poke a touch or peel just none of that okay keep your hands away from the face think about it your hands you use your hands all throughout the day touching different things at work your hand actually contains the most germs compared to your mouth your legs your hands have a lot of germs in it and if you continue touching your face and poking your pimples you are causing more harm than good sis so let's just leave that alone okay number four thing we're going to talk about today is using popular products you see on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. <sighs> I'm here to tell you that our, all of our skins are very different, very complex. Your skin literally is an organ. I think a lot of us forget it. Our skin, just because it's external, doesn't mean it's an organ. Yes, it's very tolerable to a lot of things that other organs inside our body can't tolerate, but the skin is a 
real organ okay so using products that you have no idea about or how it would work for your own personal skin is just not the business okay please consult your dermatologist your esthetician if you have questions about certain products you see online i know certain products are trending and you think oh if it's working for x y and z person it must work for me please be gentle with your skin do not use any product you see just because it's popular okay try to be very mindful of what you see on the internet make sure you get to know your skin first before you start using popular skincare products you see on the internet okay so let's move on all right number five i'm sure you guys saw this one coming is overwhelming your skin with actives ah <sighs> this one it's hard i know with skincare companies pretty much acting like fast fashion companies this one it's hard because i know you guys want to get all the bhas and ahas and alpha arbutin and turnexamic acid and this acid and whoo let's just take a pause okay let's take a pause let's just take a breather your skin actually just likes simple things your skin doesn't want all the active it doesn't doesn't want all the extra ness your skin does not like extra okay your skin likes to keep it cool keep it simple extra is for fashion shows okay sis not for your skin okay let's keep that skin routine very simple do not overwhelm it with actives if you have a, a bha in your i don't know i'm just doing things out here moisturizer or a cleanser just keep it at that or maybe one more product in your skincare routine but not all products containing bhas or all products containing niacinamide or all products containing glycolic acid just keep all your actives to one or two products in your skincare routine your skin Skin will love you for that okay all right number six product we're going to talk about today is over cleansing or under cleansing your skin i know a lot of you guys don't even know that the most basic skincare routine could be damaging to your skin you might be over cleansing or under cleansing over cleansing where you're washing your face you know for too long or just really you know cleansing so hard with a scrub or whatever that could be really stripping your skin barrier making your skin really dry making your skin epidermal layer just break down over time okay let's take it really gentle like i said your skin is an organ it literally is an organ it wants you to be very gentle with it very very gentle and then under cleansing where you're probably just rushing your cleansing process you're not really taking the time out to make sure you're taking off all this excess dirt and debris from your skin take your time but don't waste your time a good cleansing time frame for your face should be about not more than five minutes to be honest i think five minutes is a good number for you to cleanse your skin all right number seven step i'm going to talk about today is sleeping on dirty sheets or pillowcases and i know you guys didn't see this one coming but yes sis. if you're not washing those sheets every week or every other week especially pillowcases pillowcases should be washed every week i wash mine every week you have to wash those pillowcases because think about it you're sleeping on it you're you know saliva on the pillowcase so many just things going on at nighttime trans epidermal water loss while you sleep we lose about one liter of water every time we go to sleep at night so all that sweat and all that stuff is on your pillowcase so you had to wash it okay change that pillowcase that is the cause of your acne i said it mm -hmm. i said it that's the cause of your acne take care of that pillowcase get that hygiene on check and you thank me later okay all right let's move on number eight and second to last thing i want to talk about today is using skincare products for a very short time okay Whew. I cannot think of all the comments I've seen on, you know, while looking up websites and stuff. I've seen so many people comment, oh, it didn't work for me. I used it for 15 days. I used it for two weeks and I didn't see any results. So I changed to something else. No, your skin needs four to six weeks to turn over four to six weeks weeks okay four to six weeks meaning it could be at least four to six weeks let me add that so you really really need to give your skin products time to work okay don't be too don't be in a rush it took you 20 years to ruin that skin with all the hyperpigmentation and not taking care of it and now all of a sudden you want your skin healed in two weeks make it make sense sis make it make sense <laughs> No, seriously, give your skincare products time to work. Those actives need time to really go into these epidermal layers and then stimulate that cell turnover process for you to see clearer skin or brighter skin or whatever goals you have for your skin. Just give your skin care products time, okay? Give it time, okay? You wouldn't give up on a relationship after two weeks. You gotta give it time. Give it time, sis. <laughs> and last point I'm gonna make today is, you know this, sunscreen, yes. Are you wearing your sunscreen? If you do all the things I just talked about today in this video and you don't wear your sunscreen, it's not gonna work. I'm sorry to break the bad news, but it's not gonna work. You need that sunscreen. You need sunscreen in your routine. I can't say this one enough. Please use sunscreen. You protect your sun from UV rays. UV rays causes 90%. 90% of skin aging. Think about that. Like really let that sink in. So if you're not putting on sunscreen, you're letting UVA and UVB rays penetrate, well UVA penetrates into your dermal layer, increasing hyperpigmentation. 
so your skin is going to get darker and then possibly causing melanoma which is skin cancer over time and if you have fairer skin, even worse. UVB rays burn the top layer of your epidermal layer. It doesn't really penetrate the skin, but it could really give you a really bad burn that could be irreversible. So please, please use sunscreen. <sighs> There's another thing you can take away from this video. Sunscreen, say with me. Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. SPF 30 or more, perfecto. That's all you need. Sunscreen is super imperative to your routine. Very important. Please use that shit. And it's super affordable. You can find sunscreen anywhere. So you have no excuses to not use your sunscreen. And there, my friends, completes my nine things you need to use for your skin to make it popping, to make it glowy. Listen, if you don't come out of 20, 20 looking like a bad B. I don't know what you were doing because you aren't really going anywhere. You're indoors. So if you're not doing all these things and you still come out of 2020 looking dusty, we got to talk. We have to have a conversation because it means I'm not doing my job on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> seriously i hope you guys really took notes about all the things i mentioned in this video i am not perfect either i have my days where i don't want to wear sunscreen i remember oh shit, i didn't wear sunscreen today and i have to go back and reply it so just as long as you understand your skin know how your skin works and try to implement all the things i talked about in this video you would see a huge difference in your skin like i'm not even kidding when i started doing these things i mentioned my skin improved by a thousand all right that brings me to the end of this video hope you guys can support me by thumbsing up this video like this video please like this video so you can reach more people that's how I can help other people know what to do with their skin that may not know what to do. Also, share this video with your friends and family. Subscribe to this channel for more content about skincare and skincare tips. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.